Slender Man, the subject of hundreds of online horror stories. He's entirely fictional, but two 12-year-old girls facing criminal charges in Wisconsin said he's real. They're accused of stabbing their friend 19 times, and they told investigators they did it to please Slender Man. The victim survived. The character's popularity stretches to the Toledo area. Amy Buck has a nephew who found a Slender Man game online. He was afraid. He thought Slender Man would come out of the woods and get him. Buck works as a receptionist at Harbor, a local mental health provider, where Marcia Dries is a children's counselor. How often do you hear about the, this character in, in specific, Slender Man? Uh, I've heard about it more lately. Dries says the same kids who talk to her about Slender Man talk about violence. She says parents should monitor what their kids do online. If you're spending hours online playing these games, I think it desensitizes them to what's normal, what's reality, and what's healthy. It's an online myth inspiring real-life violence. The lines between fact and fiction aren't always clear online, especially for a kid. Dries says it's important to make sure your child knows the difference. 